بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد Respected Ustads, esteemed guests and the galaxy of intellectuals before me I'm very pleased to stand in front of you on this auspicious occasion The topic given to me is a solution for the survival of the Indian economy So, before finding the solution for the survival of the Indian economy we must ponder how did the Indian economy survive till date? How did it survive till now? You know, the economy till date survived upon the taxes given by the people, by the import and the export, and by the tertiary sector. That is uh, farming, that is the IIT sector, the tourism sector, the transports, the startups and manufacturing industries. You know, the tertiary sector of India is the most, uh, the most, the sector which provides the most GDP for the country and the main source of income for India. But recently, the Indian central government had bought new initiatives, new steps uh, to bring economic development in India. And both of them are demonetization and GST. You know, demonetization was brought into effect to control the corruption and the fake currency notes. Then, we are starting a project, or we are executing a project, and we are allotting funds for the product. There are a lot of mismanagement. For example, when a government is executing a plan, and when the plan is being allotted, if there is any mismanagement, or any mismanagement in allotting the fund, variations of rupees of crores occurs, and this is a huge loss for the Indian economy, and this will decrease the GDP. And here, my brothers, not only this, when we are speaking about the Indian economy, the GST also plays a very big role. You know, the GST, all the other countries except India, they have succeeded without a doubt. You know, we are also, we Indians also welcome GST with open hands and bright hearts. But the problem, India failed here again. Why? Because when introducing this GST or when introducing the demonetization, there are some precautions, some prior steps and some steps to be taken before implementing them. You know, India suddenly implemented demonetization. The people didn't know. The people's opinions were not asked. One day, suddenly they said, we are taking back the notes. The precautions to be taken were, they must have, impl they must have said the opinion. They must have asked the opinion of the people. They must have given the people the time to put their liquid money, to deposit their liquid money in the bank. But no, this time was not given. They must have given awareness to the people. There should have been the secrecy of currency. You know, when bringing deponetization or when bringing a new currency into effect, there should be secrecy. There should be secrecy because when taking the demonetization of India, before the notes were brought into effect, there were a lot of coal mugrates or rich people having the bundles of cash which were yet to be printed. My God, what is this? So, the solutions that we find for the Indian economy, for the sustenance, maintenance, and wellness and well-being of our economy, what I have to say is first, we must remove every barrier, every barricade, and everything that comes against us. All the things that brings down for the economy. And we must stop the information leakage. It's high time now. For how many years will we stay a developing country? When will we become developed? You know, a country is uh, stated as developed based on its GDP, and our GDP always stays stagnant. When will we confront? When will we improve? Where will be our change? Children and my friends and my dear brothers of SSF, it is high time now to bring a change. So let us try to bring a change. Let us stop the information leakage and bring in a government, and bring in a team, such a team that works for the government and works with secrecy. You know, in other countries, when there is any problem, any problem at hand, they bring a committee that bring a committee for this problem. And this committee works and researches on the basis of the problem and brings the solutions required for the problem. And this is high time to bring a community like that. We shall bring a committee that works solely and researches solely for the purpose of the development of the Indian economy and provide everything. It must be a very rigid community without no secrecy or without no information leakage and with full power to do all of its work. By saying this much, I would like to conclude here. Thank you for listening. Wa akhir da'wan. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.